Hey there guys, it's Dryer General Yuki. You're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now is uh, absolutely nothing. Um, as you can tell, I don't think you really could tell all that well unless I do this. It was raining pretty darn good this morning and by the looks of that puddle it's still doing that. Probably not as bad, but still, still doing it. Now, it looks like some people have come back, but my guide and the other five guys, elderly guys that I was fishing with this morning, we caught seven. I caught three out of the seven, um, which means I caught more fish, two more fish than everybody else. Um, they decided they didn't want to go back out. It was the wind was picking up as it is still blowing right now, and it was still raining. We had one heck of a big meal, a big old lunch, and even the guide was like, "Oh, I should be tipping you guys right now because I really don't want to go back out there," which is sad, but it's fine. It's okay. You know, I don't want to be the only one dragging the guide out there in the water, you know, me being the only one fishing, it wouldn't be right and then make me feel bad. So it's like, all right, just gonna have to make up for it tomorrow. So tomorrow we're just gonna bring a sack lunch, obviously bring drinks or whatever, which is mainly what my cooler's filled up with anyway. And we're gonna be heading out tomorrow morning up north to, uh, fish and I don't think we're going to be going like a, one of the other guys right next to us asked us asked uh, it was another guide asked my guide if, uh, if they're going to do a sturgeon stampede run or something like that he was like he had no interest whatsoever he was like no not happening no we're going up north no not happening so you know I might if I do I might you know, there's, I think they, just, they said there's some perch in here. So, I don't know. All I've caught was uh, walleye and, and uh, sauger, so. Which is still fine. I uh, just wish I could go back be out there right now, but. Uh, I just, just gotta sit here and do whatever. Work on my book. Maybe have the opportunity to film a game or two. Maybe, or not. I don't know. Well, I would, this is probably like the longest vlog I've done in a while since I've been here. Um, it's really, it's really nice out here. It really is. It, uh, it just, I was, was like, it's just, sometimes the weather could be a, a real downer and then have everybody else be like, it's fun and all, but uh, I don't feel like getting completely soaked again. And I was, I was completely soaked from the waist down and whoa bumble both of my shoes got really soaked so i got them sitting in front of the fan my left shoe was uh was completely soaked um and those guys were wondering like dude you're completely soaked how could you not be shivering i don't understand how you could be able to do that well as long as the wind doesn't blow in my face and it doesn't blow cold air i'll be fine but there was one guy that was actually worry, worrying uh, the guy a little bit, and he made him sitting in the front. He's not the most flexible one out of all of us on the boat, and he was shivering pretty bad. I mean, he, even the guy had to, while we were out there this morning, had to help him hook a, put his bait on a hook and, you know, help him out a little bit. But... Uh, I'm having I'm having a blast here, guys. <laughs> I wish I could take take you guys out and film on the boat, but without you know these little short minute uh, minute to two minute little little uh, stupid videos, these little clips. It's just you know if I if I was to take you out there, I'd most likely lose a camera, so I don't want to do that. But here I'm just. 
chilling in the cabin by myself, trying to keep myself preoccupied so I don't get too bored. Uh, there's going to be supper in the next three hours. Hopefully, those, hopefully someone comes back with something. Um, tomorrow's the last day of fishing. And then after that, you got to get up really early. Got to get up early enough because we're leaving, we're leaving at 6. So I need to make sure I'm up around 4 or at some point after some point. And uh, get everything loaded up so that way we can make our way back. I thought it would be like the entire week. But... Uh, Tomorrow, Wednesday, is the last day of fishing. We make our way back Thursday, and it'll be one hell of a late night drive all the way back because I won't be back until, let's say, they say 8 o'clock. Somewhere around 8 o'clock Thursday night is when I'll be back. But then I won't be officially back home until probably way past midnight. So it'll probably be really early in the morning by the time I get back because it took three hours. It took at least three hours to get to where I was and it took another, it, you know, it'll, it'll take three hours to get back. Especially if I have to make a stop, which I most likely will. But I figured, I found out something was wrong with my truck. My truck actually managed to, to make those three hours. But for like the longest time, I couldn't run the AC in my truck, not for very long. So I was like trying to figure out why, and I brought it up with my brother, and yeah, I just got a text from my dad. He's like, I told him all the stuff that was that was happening, and the decision that was made, and I was like, I paid to, I, I was like, guys, I paid to come fish. So I'm not happy. I'm like I'm actually quite disappointed, which is probably why I'm spending a lot of time not looking at the camera. But I'm actually pretty disappointed that no one wanted to go back out there, not you know being the only one to go out there. But I didn't want to make the guy go out there with just me and him. But I think with my truck, I think the cooling fans or whatever maybe. My thermostat ain't working like it should, but it managed to drive all the way down here, or at least to Topeka, fine. But it's like I didn't run the, a the AC or the air all on the entire time, and it still got it still got pretty hot, especially after it kicked into overdrive for that one time. Oh, going up a steep hill, it kicked into overdrive, and it really shot up. So I'm thinking, I mean, I checked the belt on my truck. My belt's fine, but I'm thinking it's the other stuff that is going on, like the cooling fans aren't working. So I'm going to have my brother work on my truck. I'd work on it myself, but my brother went to school to be a mechanic, so I'm going to make him work on it. But anyway, guys, I just felt like talking to you and uh, telling you what's going on, especially for today. Um, yeah, it's hopefully tomorrow ends up being a good day and we end up catching a lot of fish. Even though I'm only allowed to take a certain amount home, that's frustrating. But oh well, I guess that's their limit. It's kind of. That's kind of hurtful in a way. You have all these people come down here, you make them pay $900 to fish, but you're only allowing them to take home four walleye, two sauger, and two of whatever species they catch. That's not a whole lot. That's not a whole lot at all. So that's, that's the only downside is like they make you spend all this money for the bus trip and the, the whole thing down here. The thing is the meals are free. If the meals are paid for. You don't have to pay for anything unless you're going to the bar to buy your own drink. But that's the only thing you really have to pay for before, besides the souvenirs. 
other than that, you don't have to pay for anything. All you have to do is tip. You just bring some money, like $120 or whatever to tip to either the guide or the waitresses or whatever. Only, like, only tip the waitresses if they do a good job. If they're bouncing from table to table and they're not doing, like, coming back, like that first night I was here, first night, first meal, uh, I was sitting with a couple who was sitting there like an hour or so before I was, and they were still sitting there. Eventually, they got tired of it and decided to go get some food. Well, I it's like, okay, I just got here, and they're leaving food out in the open, so maybe, and I'm seeing the guys just walk in, take some food, sit down. Next thing you know, you got a, the waitresses right there seeing them eat, and, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's like, this elderly couple that I was sitting with, the, his, this guy's wife got really upset, and she uh, got the manager, and was like, oh no, her husband's like, oh no, why couldn't you just let me handle it, and uh, I wasn't going to leave them with anything, because they, the white waitress that we had, you know, spent a lot of time, like, bouncing from table to table, she didn't, you know, check on us. She uh, told me she was going to give me a refill of my drink about 30 to 45 minutes later. That's when I received my drink. And I was like, even though the food's good, the service was terrible. I mean, with her anyway. I'm, I'm not going to be a total jerk and not leave her with anything. So I left a dollar and I actually persuaded the other two enough that... Uh, the uh, couple actually left them a couple dollars as well. So even though it wasn't a very good job, uh, she at least got three dollars. But today, or was it yesterday? It was yes. It was last night. Um, I uh, went out and had some fish. That was the that was for the buses supper, and. Um, it was fish, some kind of black rice or something or whatever it was. It might have, I think it had some mushrooms in it or something or whatever it was. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. It had, a uh, had potatoes, like there were shredded potatoes and a bunch of fish. And it was pretty darn good, especially fish. And cheesecake, cheesecake was the dessert. That was another good thing. Um, uh, let's see. She did a pretty good job last night. I, it was a totally different waitress. Pure, pretty damn cute, I'd have to admit. She uh, got me a drink, got me a refill, and... Made sure I was all right. She did a pretty good job. She didn't bounce from table to table. She just did what she was supposed to do. Made sure the customers or whoever, you know, got their food and this and that. And you know what? I thought she deserved a five dollar tip, so I gave her five dollars. And she was actually going to leave it on the table like she didn't see it. And I was like, no. She turned to walk. I was like, no, you're not. You're, come here. And I handed her five dollars, so she got a five dollar tip last night. And I wonder what tonight's food will be. It might be another cook off or whatever, like we had for lunch, because we had fish again for lunch. I think it was what they called a shore lunch, where we just catch whatever, whatever fish we catch, we end up eating that very same day. So I guess whatever fish we caught today was ended up being lunch. So anyway. I might as well end this vlog now. Um, I am Jerry Junoriuki, and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget to bring the nachos. Peace.